Are you tired of your Dodge Ram bench seat being the most uncomfortable part of your journey? Look at this crap. I hate this thing with a passion. I'm gonna take this thing to the dump and put some bucket seats in. I'm gonna run you over with the truck. The seats I've chosen are nothing special. These are stock second gen bucket seats. I don't really consider these like bucket seats, but they're sure as heck not a bench seat like what was in there. They can adjust independently and they're in far better condition. My truck is a single cab and these came out of an extended cab. When I was removing them, I noticed that, but I thought they would swap over from the bench seat to these seats. So that brings us to problem number one. These brackets seem to be not removable. Now, of course, anything is removable, but I mean not a bolt-on affair. These are riveted. Now, if we look at the upgraded nice seats I got, the brackets are removable independently. I can undo this bolt, this bolt, and these two little 5 sixteenths up here, two more right here, and two over here, and these brackets will be free from my nice seats. As far as where this one bolts right here, I looked at the truck when I was removing the bench and there are like the spots, they're not drilled. So I will have to drill a hole in the cab and put a nut on the bottom side. So let's go to the junkyard and see if we can find a single cab with bucket seats. Those are the two criteria we gotta match. I think I got everything, got open ends, impact, socket set. What could go wrong? I found uh, quite a few single cabs with buckets. The only issue is they're all pre-98. I'm pretty sure the 98 and laters would have the brackets I'm looking for. And you can identify the differences in the seat by the like bellow right here. Also, whether the seat belt's in it or in the cab. These ones don't have that. And all the brackets are still riveted on. I'm kind of retarded. So I really don't want to deal with that. So I'm either going to modify the brackets I have or go find another truck. So I made a quick trip to Denver thinking I could find what I needed. Once again, there's no single cabs, 98 plus. I did find a single cab and I thought I found the right bracket, but it turns out they adapted the seats I have and this at least shows me how to do it. It looks like the back lines up and they added some angle iron up front. I was more thinking I was gonna have to chop this to lower it, but the seat height feels pretty good and this one's manual too. So I think I'll just be able to bolt the back in place and put spacers on the front just like they did here. I'm tempted to buy another set of seats since I found one decent set out of like a 95 so it doesn't have the integrated seat belts like this. Um, I don't know. I'm going to keep walking around and see what I decide. I decided to do some junkyard measuring and you can always measure using whatever you find. In this case, a dipstick. Based on what I'm seeing, I am kind of right, you gotta cut the back mount because of that hump. They just made them fit and it worked, but the seat's definitely higher. So to get it to the factory intended point, this would need to be chopped. I think I'm just gonna buy this set. A little beat right here. These ones are half decent and it will make it bolt in versus this video could turn into me cutting, grinding, welding and stuff. And I just don't wanna do that. I want a bolt in solution. If I'd been able to find post 89 single cab seat brackets, I think I could have made it work. I'm at you pull it Aurora, they don't have them. You pull it Denver doesn't have them. You pull it Colorado Springs doesn't have them. And neither does you pull it Albuquerque. So I think this is a good temporary solution. <laughs> Got it. I tried to bring the Prius up here. It broke, so I ended up in the BMW. Made it back with the seats just in time for a snowstorm. I really should power wash these and get them cleaner, but I'm not worried about it because like I said, they're a temporary solution. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get them right in the truck. Upon a little closer inspection, there's only one hole that needs to be drilled. The other three are there and all four on the driver's side are drilled.
I think there is a hole. It's just filled with seam sealer. I'm gonna grab a bolt and impact and see if I can drive it through. That'd be nice. Yep, there's a hole. They just fill it with seam sealer at the factory when they put the bench seat in, so that's awesome. Love Milwaukee tools, they're always saving me. I didn't realize the tilt thing's missing, so I'll probably just buy some vice grips to leave on here. Yeah, it'd be like that. It is already looking great. Just gotta get the third seat in. And that brings me to my favorite part of this swap. My truck had a floor mounted cup holder right here that was garbage. With the first set of seats that I got, there was this cup holder that mounts underneath the middle seat. This is the old crap that I'm throwing away. And this one pulls out. And it has these cup holders that adjust on clicks. They were actually kind of messed up. I loosened the screws and got these alignment pins back in place. And now it functions perfectly. Every car person can appreciate some actually good cup holders. My first car was a 240. Oh, I've spilled so many drinks in there due to the lack of cup holders in it. And there we have it. They are all installed, ready to go. I haven't hooked up the electric on this one. For now, I'm just jumping it with a Milwaukee battery. Once I have it set to where I want it, it shouldn't really need to move. Is this the upgrade I was hoping for? No. Is this an upgrade? Yes. It honestly feels way better. The bench seat was like super low on this side and it would hurt my back. This one's starting to do this and I can tell the previous owner was aware of that and stitched a microfiber in here. I'm not too worried about how crappy that is because there's a temporary solution. And overall, it feels way better. I'm like way happier sitting in here. Thanks for watching this episode of my beat to crap tow truck. I honestly forgot I did the headliner till like 10 minutes ago. And I was like, ah, that looks pretty nice. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do that. I got more parts coming on this. I'm thinking next we deal with some of this crap because you know, Dodges suck. I'm also trying to figure out what to do for uh, the color. I don't like the red and white. If you have any suggestions, drop them down below and we'll see you guys next time.